Hello everybody. <coughs> Welcome to my uh, uh, to my video training. Today I'm gonna be talking about how to set up the Cisco configuration professional in GNS3. Uh, what is the first of all? What is the Cisco configuration professional? Uh, the Cisco configuration professional is a piece of software created by Cisco uh, for accessing the the, the network devices uh, using a graphical user interface instead of instead of using the uh, command line interface so right now uh, I'm gonna show you how to how to set up the Cisco configuration professional in GNS3. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna drag the Cisco router, the 7200 Cisco router in GNS3. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag a network cloud. Uh, this network, uh, this uh, cloud here is used uh, for connecting the this router up here to to my to my computer. Uh, so. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go and do the and add the interfaces on the router. I'm gonna right click, click configure, choose router one, and I'm gonna click slot. I'm gonna add uh, one interfaces. I'm gonna click OK. So right now, I add the interfaces. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the for the cloud up here and you have to remember that this cloud uh, in order to to set it up cor correctly you have to install what we call a microsoft loopback loopback adapter i already did that so uh, if you don't know how to do it you can watch my previous video uh, for uh, setting up the sdm so i'm going to right click up here click configure click uh, c1 and up here uh, i know that my lo uh, my loopback adapter is uh, the local area, area connection 2 so i'm going to choose local area connection 2 but for you for uh, for your uh, your computer it may be a different connection just in order to know what is uh, where is your what is your connection for the loopback adapter uh, you can go to let me show you up here you can go up here click on uh, network sharing center and click on uh, change adapter and setting and you see the local area connection up here is my Microsoft loopback adapter that's how I know that it is the local area connection to local area connection to is Microsoft loopback adapter so uh, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a link between uh, the cloud and the Cisco router. Add the link, click right click. It's going to be fast Ethernet. Uh, I'm going to... Okay. So I add the cloud. Uh, I add the link between the cloud and the Cisco router. I'm going to start this router by right clicking click start now the router is starting right now so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna do a basic configuration on this router in order for the Cisco configuration uh, professional to access this uh, Cisco router router one so uh, we need to we need to do five steps I'm gonna show you that right now you see up here on my notepad I write down the five the five steps you need to do 
the first one is to configure the interface that connect to the cloud so uh, what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna go to the console right click and go to console and uh, I'm gonna change the font because uh, it is very small okay now the router is booting right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just give it a, a few seconds to wait for the router to boot so let me go back to the five steps you need this you need this five five steps configure the interface and this interface what we need to do is to give the interface and IP address and open up the interface and after that we're gonna create a username and a password with the privilege 15 we're gonna enable the web server for HTTP and HTTPS we're gonna enable HTTP authentication using the the local username we're gonna enable telnet and SSH with a local login we need to do those five steps in order to to have the Cisco configuration professional uh, running uh, in GNS3 so uh, let me see if the router is finished booting okay now the router is finished booting so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear the, the screen okay I'm gonna go to I'm gonna check the interfaces by doing show IP interface brief and you see I only have one interface for this uh, for this demonstration uh, you can have more than one but for the the shake of this demonstration I just uh, need to use only one interface so I'm gonna configure this interface by going to the global configuration and interface FA0 slash 0 and I'm gonna give it the IP address is gonna be IP address uh, 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 and the 7 mask is gonna be 255 it's gonna be 24-bit 7mask 255.255.255 that 0 and I'm gonna open up the interface by doing the no shutdown no shut okay and uh, the next step is uh, to create a username and a password with privilege 15 I'm gonna exit from this mod I'm gonna do username T A P H A that's my username and privilege age 15 and the password is going to be Cisco uh, and the next step let me go to my not part is going to be to enable the web server for HTTP and HTTPS so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm going to do IP HTTP server to enable the web server and I'm gonna this is the web server for HTTP and I'm gonna do it for HTTPS I'm gonna do IP HTTP secure server and now the the fourth step is gonna be to enable authentication IP uh, HTTP authentication uh, using the local that the local uh, username so I'm gonna do IP HTTP authentication authentication local and the last step is gonna be uh, 
enable telnet and ssh with the local login so i'm gonna have to go to the line vty line vty 0 to 3 you can choose whatever number you want depending on how many lines you have so in this case i just use three so i'm gonna do uh, privilege level 15 and i'm gonna do login local and I'm gonna do transport input telnet I'm gonna do transport input telnet and SSH and I'm gonna uh, exit from there that's all we need to do for the uh, for the for the for the Cisco router so now what we need to do now uh, you need to uh, we need to go and uh, launch the Cisco configuration professional and if you don't know how to get the Cisco configuration professional you you can just uh, go to Google or you can go to the Cisco website if you have a CCO login and uh, you can download the Cisco configuration professional from there and once you download it you can install you can install it on your PC so that's what I just did so I'm gonna click on the start menu and I have my Cisco configuration professional up here but one more note I would like to make is before you start this Cisco configuration professional you need to uh, start it using the the administrator account by right clicking and run as an administrator otherwise it's gonna it's, it's not gonna work it's, it's gonna give you some problems so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna click yes I'm gonna now it's starting just make sure you have to to run it as an administrator otherwise it's going to give you some problem it is loading the user interfaces and uh, if you know if you know the SDM this is like the SDM but this is just like a newer software uh, that Cisco has created in order to better uh, manage the, the Cisco devices and I, I I I would like to say that I like this uh, this uh, piece of software because it is uh, a very easy it is a, a very simple to to configure a Cisco router using this uh, Cisco configuration professional and uh, in this video I'm not going to show you how to do the how to use the Cisco configuration to do a configuration on a Cisco router but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, give you the basics on how to set up the how to make this piece of software running in on GNS3 so you can uh, you can uh, do all your your lab on GNS3 without uh, buying uh, real Cisco devices so uh, you have to to be patient because uh, this is not like uh, we are not working in a real environment so everything is uh, is virtual up here so it's gonna take a while but uh, let's just give it some time you know you have to be patient you say uh, I have to restart the just like when I tell you sometime you have to mm, to keep trying you know so I'm gonna start the, the program again ok 
Okay, I think I'm gonna I'm having some problems here. Let me go and start the program again. Run as an administrator. Uh, so uh, let's give it uh, some time, you know. It's loading right now. And uh, if everything is fine, uh, you should do have uh, a window like this you know it's gonna say Cisco configuration professional and uh, it's gonna it's, it's gonna be loading Java because this software need Java in order to run so you have to keep in that in mind you need to have Java so this is like a security warning but don't worry about this thing and uh, what are, what you going what you need to do is uh, uh, in order to configure your, your Cisco devices uh, using uh, the Cisco configuration profession you need to enter the the host name of the device or the, the IP address like in this case I enter the IP address it is 10.10.10.1 and the username is uh, my username like the one I created earlier if you remember T-A-P-H-A -A. and the password is uh, Cisco so you cannot see it but you should remember what I put on the configuration for the for the router. So you just click OK, and uh, it say not discover. But sometimes for the first time it's gonna say maybe not discover. But just keep trying, you know. Click on discover again, and it's gonna try to to see if uh, it's gonna try to contact the the Cisco router. Uh, and you see it discover the router router one. And once you discover the router, you can go over here on the configure tab, and you you know you can start doing your configuration, just like you you can do it on the on the Cisco router using the command line interface. But uh, this uh, GUI, this graphical user interface, is a lot easier than doing the command line interface. So that's why Cisco has created this piece of soft this piece of software. So you see, it said the, the the router discovery status is discovered and if you go to the configure tab now you see you can go to the router do the configuration interfaces you know monitor tab this is the monitor tab it's gonna it's gonna show you like uh, you know what's what's going on on the, on the router you know but, but for the purpose of this video I'm I was just uh, showing you how you can make uh, this piece of software run on GNS3 and uh, I, I think I, I complete my goal and I would like to thank you for watching this video and I will see you for the next one. Uh, thank you.